Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to video number three of my 52 series for 2020. Today I'm going to be illustrating some anemones. These will probably be greeting cards of some sort. For this project I'm using a watercolor block by Moleskin or Moleskini, depends on how you want to say it. I don't know if there is a right way to say that name. And I'm also going to be using my uh, watercolors that I purchased at a coffee shop. So, my coffee shop watercolors. I don't know the name of this brand. I just know they are handmade watercolors. And I really like, I like the colors that came in this palette. They're very pretty and very easy to work with. <laughs> I really like easy. So here I'm just creating the background and for that I wetted the background area and came in with the pigment. That way I get like a, a very smooth transition from each stroke of the brush. After it's dry I will use my micron pen to start the illustration. I was inspired by Becca from Happy Ever Crafter to do this. Recently she posted a uh, tutorial on how to make these flowers and I saw it and got excited about trying it and really these flowers are really pretty and very easy to make like this, this type of illustration. Whoops. making some shading. Shading is one of my favorite things to do. So this is video number three and one of the things I had I planned was to start adding music once I get to video number five. Assuming I'm doing this consistently when I get to video five, I will, sub I will pay for a subscription in one of those music websites. And then I'll add music here, and that's gonna be exciting. I just love those videos, you know, when someone is making some art that has some pretty music in the background. That's a nice filler. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a humming back here. That is my space heater. My studio is a bit cold. You know, the heating does not, can't really heat up the entire room. So I have to, I have to use a, a space heater. Otherwise I'll freeze here. And making art with cold hands is very difficult. Especially when I need to do like those skinny lines. More shading. Today in New Jersey it is very windy, it's a little chilly, but it's very pretty too because the clouds, there are, there are not many clouds out there, the sky looks very blue, it's almost like as blue as this background here. And from where I am I can see into the distance, I can see the hills back there and I can see the, the clouds rolling in and out. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. So I was done with that one and for the next side I wanted to do a, a um, more tidy background. So I chose the flat brush for this. S using the same process as the first, I, mo I made the um, the, the shape I wanted in just water 
and then added color that will help the the, the brushes the brush strokes blend into each other and prevent any weird lines from happening once that's dry I go into my pencil oh not my pencil my pen lines and I also I do the same process as before making those little circles there that's very pretty and the shape for the the petals those also have they don't have to be perfect I think it's actually better if they're not perfect it looks more natural I think it gives more more interest to a piece when it's not really perfect. I'm darkening that area a little bit more. The stem. The thing about this paper is that it it's a little rough you can see the texture of the paper oh I do appreciate texture on the paper I think this one might be a little much I gotta get used to it doing some shading again which is I really like you know I, I I almost sometimes I almost end up making everything black just because I like to make those little lines with the pen. I'm almost done. And then just adding a little bit more shading at the edges of the leaves, of the petals, I mean, to give it more dimension there. I think it's ready I'm done this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time to see more of my work you can find me on Instagram at Chris Colbert and my website is chriscolbert.com thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye